Hi guys, guess what? It's Easter time and uh, you know I like to share very simple recipes. So this one is one that I would like to share. It has four very delicious ingredients. It takes less than 15 minutes to make and uh, it has a lot of my favorite Save On Food items, especially for sweet things. It's called Easter Egg Fudge and uh, I'm ready to show you guys how it works. Look at this. This is all you need too, by the way. These are all the materials you need and a microwave. Okay, so as far as ingredients go, you want to have uh, chocolate chips. So we went to Save On Foods, got some chocolate chips. We also got um, some of these Western Family um, chocolate eggs, which are just delicious. As you can tell, I already opened the bag last night when I bought these and devoured half the bags. And then uh, we have some colorful marshmallows which I also dabbled into a little bit. Now you can use any type of marshmallow, but it's Easter, so why not have a little fun, have a little color in your life. So you're wanting, what you wanna do is you wanna line a pan this size, about this size, with parchment paper. Um, so we're gonna put that aside, because we don't need it right now. And then microwave proof bowl. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna do about a cup and a half of chocolate chips. Sometimes I'll just use my teeth to open it. So yeah, about a cup and a half. Say that's about, eh, we might as well just throw the whole bag in, yeah. And then we're gonna do um, condensed milk. Uh, I'm just gonna get a spoon. Okay. And then we're just gonna microwave it until it's all melted. So don't microwave it um, all at once. I'd say like do like 30 second increments, give it a little stir, put it back on for 30 seconds until it's all melted. So we're gonna go to the microwave now. So it takes about a minute and a half or two depending on the, the power of your microwave. And uh, so it should be nice and melted all together. And we're just gonna let it cool you guys don't even like chocolate. By the way, it's poisonous for you. Coming from slumber to get a treat, but that's not happening. Uh, so just let it cool down a little bit. You don't want it piping hot because once we add the marshmallows, if it's too hot, it'll melt the marshmallows and we don't want that to happen. We just wanna fold the marshmallows in. So while that's cooling, we are going to take our pan and we are going to place some of our chocolate eggs on the bottom of the pan. Just scatter them. Just try to like spread them out. They'll want to roll wherever they, they want to meet their little egg friends, but like spread them out a little bit. I mean, and there's really, it's, it's pretty foolproof. Like if you want a lot of eggs, you can have a lot of eggs. Okay, and now we're going to fold in some marshmallows. Throw them in and like delicately fold them. If they start to melt, just stop mixing them. I don't know, like three handfuls is probably, probably good. Just fold them up like so. And then we're gonna pour this over top of the eggs. Smooth it out. Okay. So just get it all nice and even over top of those eggs. Get all the chocolate. We don't like to waste chocolate around here. Okay. And then we're not done with the chocolate eggs because we're gonna sprinkle it with some more on the top. Kind of evenly. And then we're going to set it in the fridge until it's solid. So it should look like this. And we're gonna set this in the fridge and let it set. Be back soon. All right guys, so it's finally set. It's firm to the touch. And now all you have to do is cut it up and enjoy. Oh yeah. Delicious marshmallow. Oh, look at that. There you have it. Oh, my hands are so chocolatey. Easter egg fudge. Happy Easter. Bye, guys.